Hello, doers. Now that we've seen how to create your projects and manage your tasks, and the Kanban dashboard has no secrets to you anymore, let's focus on one of the most useful features of Odoo Project, the top bar. So in project management, it's often necessary to review all of the different documents and records that are related to your project. So those could be timesheets, sales orders, expenses, and so much more. To avoid jumping from one application to another to access all of those records, the top bar allows you to browse through them very quickly without leaving the project application. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in our database. Let's go ahead and open our project application and one of our projects. Here we arrive at our beautiful Kanban view, and I'm just going to click on the sliders button that's located right here, and that displays my top bar. So as you can see, by default, there's only one tab in my top bar, it's the tasks, which makes sense as I'm viewing the tasks of my project. Uh, but now if I click on the other sliders button that has just popped up here, I can uh, select all of the different types of records that I would like to add to this project's top bar. So just keep in mind that this depends a little bit on the applications that you have installed in your database. So here I have a lot of different applications installed, so I can choose between a lot of records, uh, but this can be different for you. For now, for this project, we need to choose, um, because we need to review timesheets quite often, so let's choose timesheets. Let's choose expenses and our project dashboard, which we will see more in detail in an upcoming video. And now you can see uh, my uh, top bar has been saved and I can browse and edit all of the related records very easily. So if I click on timesheets, you can see all the timesheets, expenses, and my project dashboard. Now, another thing that I can do, of course, is I can edit my record. So uh, here on timesheets, I could even add a new one if I wanted to, or I can just click on this one here and like just really quickly say that I actually spent two hours instead of one hour and a half working on it. Wow. It really is going to make us save a lot of time. Um, do you know if the top bar can also show me more specific views, for instance, like only the timesheets that have been validated yet? Yes, absolutely. You can create and save your own custom views. So like you said, we are on our timesheets and we only need to see the validated ones. So what we do is we simply search and put the filters that we would like to. So I'll choose validated. And um, then I, what I need to do to save this view is I just need to click on the sliders button again. I have an option here to save view. I uh, will call it validated timesheets, makes perfect sense. And then another thing that I can do if I want to is I can share this view and then it will be available for all of my colleagues that also uh, go into this project so they can also easily see the validated timesheets. I will save it. And there you have it. I have my validated timesheets. And then I still also have, of course, my view for all of the timesheets. Uh, so I can easily compare the different records. Just keep in mind that whenever uh, you set up a top bar or customize something within the top, tar top bar, uh, it is only va available for you and the people that you have shared uh, the filter with. Uh, and then if every top bar is different according to every different project, of course, which makes sense because then you have your own custom views and the top bar that you have configured. Now, this is really an amazing tool. I hope you will go ahead and play with it and explore your projects. And for this video, that is it from our site. Thank you so much for watching and 